Hey guys, it's me Heather and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be my monthly favorites. It's halfway through September, so this is for August until now. I will do another one, of course, come October, but it's kind of the just stuff I find myself reaching for every day. Um, so some of it's going to be repeats because you probably saw it last month. I kind of get in the habit of using the same things, but I've been trying some new things, trying to use stuff I already have, so it's not going to be like new revolutionary products is going to be stuff that i already had in my collection some of it so yeah maybe if you have these and you haven't touched them in a while it will inspire you to uh shop your stash <laughs> so we're just gonna grab here and i'm gonna tell you why they're my favorites that's how favorites go um charlotte tilbury setting spray take a gander <laughs> you see how many i have back here setting sprays this is the one that i use i already ran out of the patrick star one size aerosol one that was amazing i think it went entirely too fast um but i live in florida it's hot it's humid my makeup stays on all day and a large part of it is because of this um so that's a favorite also you've seen this in multiple videos but it is no joke i am squeezing the last life out of this peace out instant pore perfector it does have mushroom in it and it has a little bit of like a unique scent it's not horrible it goes away you can't smell it after you put it on but that's the common people are like is this supposed to have a smell it does it has like a mushroomy i don't know like earthy earthy smell um but it sets so my makeup just kind of glides over the acne the little ice pick holes in my face um and then any texture everything just kind of glides over it i love it they did send this to me but it's proof is in the pudding you're seeing it over and over and over again this is something that i highly recommend to anybody who's like what primer do you use what do you love it's been it that's kind of it for me <laughs> um sticking with face stuff i just have to say that there are 10 billion eye primers and i probably use them all and this just works for my hooded oily lids living somewhere where it's hot and humid and you're like we get it it's humid but if you're not living somewhere where it's always like you've just stepped out of a hot shower with your clothes on <laughs> and so it's like you always feel like everything is wet so like your face even if you set it you wear the mattest foundation it still feels wet this keeps my eyeshadow on um my makeup's on when i come home no creasing no i used to be like i don't want to wear the bright eyeshadows because it's just going to crease well it was because of my oily lids <laughs> um a, a unique combination we have here it's the maybelline 24-hour skin tint um and i am in the shade 110 the, there's a 100 but it's very pink it was too pink for me so this one's kind of a nice mid, middle ground and then the lancome concealer um it says it's all over but i you've seen it in get ready with me i put it here and just work it up under and then i put it if i need coverage i'm in the shade 095 it's perfect shade for me i love it this combo together <laughs> although i'm horribly broken out right now all over i don't know why stress probably um but it covers nicely you can't do anything about texture but it looks nice <laughs> i'm almost out of my charlotte tilbury shade one fair powder this is the little mini but it is so finely milled that I have used this for months and months and months. I have no need for the big one. I can buy for like $24, wait for the 20% off, buy another one of this. It will get me six months. Like it is so like, you can't, there you go. It is so light, but that's why I like it. Cause I can put it under my eyes. I can just dust it on after I do my foundation and it just mm, blurs everything, makes everything look good. If you are looking for, just try the little one. I wear this at least five days a week it's given me months and months and months it's worth the 24 dollars. <laughs> if you're just like i don't want to buy it every six months get the full size but i don't feel the need that i need to buy the 54 dollar one so um that's for foundation we're gonna talk some more about the eyes since i talked about the anastasia i have been revisiting my collection of huda mini obsessions they're just her little mini palettes this is love fest and this is wild i don't know which ones are available on sephora but i think all of these are still on her website what i'm wearing now and i get the most compliments i have worn this over and over because every time i wear it somebody says <laughs> they're pressure washing my patio right when i started filming um <laughs> So this is what I'm wearing. I get so many compliments on it. 
every time I wear it. So I've worn it more and more and more. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I don't know why I didn't use it more. So I'm trying to be better about revisiting palettes. This one is the Wild Python palette. Look at this. Like how stupid was I to not be reaching for this all the time? Um, I wear these and then I'll put like that pop of green there or a little pop of blue here in the inner corner. Beautiful. It's fun. You can do like um, that neutral and then um, do like a electric liner, like do it real thick in the crease and then bring it out. Beautiful. Love those. They were like half off on Sephora's website. They come and go on sale. So definitely keep an eye out. They're worth the $29 or whatever I pay for them. But if you want to get a sale, I don't blame you. <laughs> um, also for the eyes, I've been loving the Kosas. This is just a little mascara and taupe, a little brown mascara and taupe. And um, I just fill them in and then I just brush it up. It's so hard having blonde eyebrows because you have to color them and then you have, if you want to do like the fluffy brow, you have to use this because this doesn't collect all the hair and coat it. So then it's just kind of, some of them are sticking up, some of them are not. I use the clear, um, it obviously isn't co coating them, but this is really good. I love the Kosas brow products. Definitely, I, in my empties, I showed you the taupe brow pencil. It's something I will repurchase, but I have... 13 eyebrow pencils I need to use some of them up so I'm giving myself like if I can use like three or four of them then I can buy a new one but I need to go through them some of them probably dry it out and then the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara it has this funky wand which a lot of people do not like but I love it because you can get in there work it up and then take the other side and comb through and it just gives you the nice I don't know if it's gonna show on my camera but I love it it's great. It doesn't come down here. It's on at the end of the day. It doesn't burn my eyes when I take it off. Really impressed with that. Ilya. Super nice. And then for my face, um, no secret. It's a Say um, Sun Melt Light Bronze. <laughs> and it is so nice and natural that like you can literally just put it on. Like that's probably too much. And then just blend it in. Look how it just blends in like it is so nice and natural it sets it's not sticky it, my hair doesn't stick to it some of those cream bronzers don't dry down and when you have a little scarring little holes on the side of your face from acne um you need it to set uh and that's already done see it won't come off now so love that and i'm trying with all my might to finish my gucci because i don't want to be wasteful and <laughs> it's still going I'm wearing it today I wore it yesterday and the day before that so it's like as long as it keeps kept coming off onto my brush for me to put on my face I will use it it is amazing I can I mean I think it's $60 now I, I can't remember it's worth every penny if you have the money look at this packaging it's beautiful I just have so many so much stuff that I feel like I'm being wasteful I will eventually rebuy it. oh don't get it dirty um I will eventually rebuy it when I get rid of some of the other ones because this would be a staple it's like you know desert island staple that would be that <laughs> and then for my blush i think this was in last month's favorite so it tells you the color, super shock cheek it's pearlized in the shade tasty and this is this kind of been my go-to that's kind of the sheen you're seeing there and then the blush on top of that is cloud crush from Too faced and golden hour and <laughs> You can see that is what's here on. So it's like I put the one on, I put this one on. Sometimes I do this one and then this one if I want it to be a little bit more sheen. Um, but yeah, they're not the exact same color, but they work beautifully together. And I love to combine brands and colors. And that's the fun part of makeup is you don't have to buy all one brand. You can do drugstore. You can do a little bit more expensive, not necessarily luxury, but you know what I'm saying. We're going to talk eyeshadow palettes. I have a few more over here and then we'll go into... A final few pro oh also for blush oh this is the soft coral the make it by mario blushes in soft coral and earthy pink these are both my favorites um we're gonna put the soft coral earthy pink is beautiful i think it would be beautiful in anybody both of these would be um you've seen in my videos i'll either do it like this and tap it on you can do it directly onto your face whatever you prefer they set they stay they look beautiful and they, the pigment is there. The staying power is there. They are a little expensive, but they're beautiful. So if you were thinking, yes, you should get it. <laughs> um, and then just a couple more palettes, and then we'll talk about a few little odds and ends. 
So um, this video has been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of traction over here that I did a get ready with me. I've gotten so many questions about the Tartlet Energy Palette. And this is what it looks like, if you don't know. And it is much loved. <laughs> I use it, oh my God, it smells so good. But I use it all the time. And it is just one of those that looks beautiful. It looks beautiful every time. Like you don't have to make it work. I've told you before, some mornings I'm up to, for work at five o'clock in the morning. I will read through this. It works every time. And people are like, how do you take that much time to get ready for work, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it really, if you have good quality products, you don't have to make it work. It works. You put the crease color, the lid color, put a little glitter, you're ready to go. So it's like, this works, it's beautiful. And it is, yep, just a tartlet energy. I can sure had the name right for you. <laughs> Drink your haterade this morning. Maybe this part is not for you, but I have been loving my Kylie Wizard of Oz palette. It has beautiful colors. It is so fun. You know that I'm obsessed with using this shade on my eyes. So I love this with a little bit of glitter, these greens and golds here. It's just beautiful. Um, this is entirely too much for me as a highlighter, but it is a pretty eyeshadow. And then of course I love this blush because it fits right in with my <laughs> theme. But I don't know if this is still available, but if you have it in your collection and you just haven't reached for it, definitely. Look how cute the packaging is too. <laughs> and show you some of the other ones I've been using and loving. Um, and then on my lips, as the past couple videos, I've been using this and people have asked what's on your lips and I didn't mention it. And it's the Tower 28 XOXO. And it is just a beautiful, like it's like a glossy oil. And so as it fades, it is happening up here. As it fades, it just leaves your lips stained. So it looks like you always have something on. It's very pretty. And then the final two favorites are, they were PR gifts but they are my two favorites out of everything they've sent. This is the Lancome Idol Aura. It is a beautiful scent. I just love it. You can look it up and compare scents to your other favorite fragrances so you know if this is something you would like. They sent that one to me. And then this has always been a favorite. Long, many, many moons ago, <laughs> decades ago, I worked at um, a mall and a beauty counter and I worked next to the Lancome counter and they, I'd always go in and spray this. And they were so nice and they never said anything. Um, they let me just, um, they were so nice and always let me just use the tester. And then, then when they had the little samples, they let me take the samples home because it was so expensive and I would just never ever. And so when Lincoln sent this to me, it took me back to that time of that little girl that just loved, the little 20 something that just loved and was obsessed with Lancome. Um, but yeah, so I do love it. It smells amazing. You can see here that I have been using it. Um, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, I love it and I have a wide variety of like scents that I love because I really love like the masculine manly scents and I love fruity floral scents and I love these. These are great. Um, the Idol Now and the Idol are great scents. They're not for me once they set it on me. I don't love them by myself, but they smell good. But these two, yes, I can't get enough. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions, if you saw any of your favorites, and be sure you're subscribed so you never miss a video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!